everybody, and welcome to Malt News for Whiskey Reviews. Hi, Merrick. On the bar for today, the Balvany Single Barrel, 21 years old, traditional oak, single malt scotch whiskey. As always here on the channel, nose taste finish review. This whiskey is coming your way. I'll tell you a bit about the value, give you my final thoughts, final score, and of course, leave you with a malt musing. Uh, but first, take a second, hit that subscribe button if you've yet to. I got reviews coming out every Friday on YouTube, and I don't want you to miss any of them. I also have a Tuesday happy hour every Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Would love to see you there in the chat. Always a good time. Okay. First and foremost, the Balvany is a space side distillery. Um, probably one of the more recognizable single malt scotch whiskey makers uh, in the business today. As for the tail of the tape here on the single barrel traditional oak. So first and foremost, this is the tube it comes in. As you can see, they give you just a ton of information about maturation, about the whiskey itself, et cetera, et cetera. Um, there's a major plus. I wish more distilleries would do that. As for the bottle, classic bald new looking bottle, has a bunch of info on here as well, which we are going to talk about now. So, it, like I said, this is 21 years old. Uh, it was uh, distilled on the 3rd of March, oh, I'm sorry, March 26, 1999, bottled July 21st, 2020. Uh, as a single barrel or single cask, um, this is, uh, you know, no no two casks are the same, obviously. So you're going to get a little bit of batch variation. This one is cask number 5366 and bottle 143. They do about 300 bottles per cask. Um, it does say right here on uh, the bottle that it is non-chill filtered. Also says so right here on the tube. It does not say anything about natural color. I am almost certain that it is. I just wish they would say so. It may be buried in one of these paragraphs on here. Um, as for the traditional oak, so what traditional oak is, is actually just X bourbon cask. So it's like a refill bourbon cask. Um, so you are not getting that first fill overwhelming power. This is a more uh, a cask that's been used. And so it's going to slowly impart its flavor, which makes a lot of sense for a 21 year old whiskey. It is bottled at 47.8%. Love to see that. Here's one more look at that bottle. And that's the tail of the tape here on the Balvenie 21 single barrel. It is interesting. They call them single barrels. That is usually uh, what uh, bourbon distillers would call. Uh, their whiskeys, uh, scotch usually is a single cask, but maybe it's because it's a bourbon cask. Who knows? Um, anyways, okay. So um, since this is 21 years old, I have had this sitting here in the glass for about 15 minutes or so. And um, I do want to take a moment just to emphasize the importance of that. So um, oxygen really does a lot of magic uh, to a whiskey, and just like water does. Uh, and by leaving it out, you're really giving it a chance to open up, have some of those uh, alcohol molecules breaking off and getting some more of the flavor uh, and notes coming out of this whiskey. So as a rule of thumb, they say a minute in the glass for every year in the cask. Pretty good rule to follow. We're just about at that point. So we are going to check this out. Here is the color, which again, we do not know for 100% sure if it's natural, but I am almost positive that it is. Looks pretty nice. One other thing I should mention about Balvenie, you know, they are one of the few distilleries that still do their own in-house maltings. Most distilleries uh, get their malted uh, barley from big companies and bring it in and kind of do all those stuff in uh, maturation and stuff from there. Um, and the distillation, Balvenie, of course, is doing this all on the floors in the traditional malting houses, right, in their distillery. So a really nice, classic, um, historic presentation coming on from Balvenie here. And uh, it's meeting pretty much all of the specifications you want to look for when buying a single malt. It's 46% or over. It's non-chill filtered. It's got an age statement. Just not sure about that color. But again, I couldn't see them adding any color to this. Anyways, let's get into the malt itself. On the nose, I can smell it from here. Absolutely beautiful nose. Wow. This is a sweet whiskey. Little hints of spice in the background, but when I say sweet, it's mostly kind of your bourbon notes, some fruit notes. 
Let me tell you a little bit more about that as I dig in. There's a nice apple, almost orange, orange marmalade note. Pears, kind of your orchard fruits. Nice vanilla bean, caramel, light caramel, butterscotch. This really nice, just fresh malted grain note, just giving it like a sweet house, almost like a sweet note, almost like a farmhouse quality to it. Little bit of dry oak in the background, charred oak. Some hints of maybe dark chocolate and cinnamon. But it's I, I want to emphasize what's really interesting here is just how harmonized this is. It smells elegant, it smells more on the delicate side, but it has some heft to it as well. A very, very nice nose here. And I could nose this for a while. There's even slight hints of maybe a sweet tobacco. Very nice. Okay, so here we go. Legs on this are really nice too. Real sticky, moving nice and slow. Big legs on this, very, very encouraging. Let's give this its first taste neat. Salon shell. Mm. Very nice on the palate. Elegant, gentle but it coats the mouth with really a little bit of medium viscosity. You're met with a lot of sweetness, again, kind of fruit, juicy sweetness, a bit of the vanilla notes as it develops. Get a little bit of that more charred oak, cinnamon, maybe some other kind of just baking spice. Seamless transition into a nice long finish. Again, melted toffee. Butterscotch, almost like those Werther's original candies. Little hint of a cola note, medium long finish, actually moving more towards the long side, sticking around. Honey, ton of honey. Let's do one more neat sip here. Wow. Mm. Very nice. A 21-year-old whiskey like this, it really challenges you to take your time. It's delicious, but leaving it out for a while, small sips, really just examining and taking in all that flavor is going to get you the most you can out of a whiskey like this. And, and this is a great example of that. I'm even getting slight hints of like cherry, candy maybe even a little bit of a grape leaf coriander a lot going on here awesome okay let's put a little bit of water on this and this is 21 years old and at 47 percent i'm just gonna do like two drops to start i really don't want to drown this whiskey which is something that can easily happen with these more delicate drams that are usually on the older side. Here we go. Mm, getting a little more cinnamon sugar. You can just see how the how the presentation of this, of the notes on the nose here have just expanded, more voluminous, more happening. I'm getting a little bit of a tart fruit note now. Even maybe just slightly sweet. Mm, kind of like a um the honey glaze. Like wow. Slight lemon. So the nose, uh, again, the water is really just kind of brought a little bit more to the table. This is still very balanced. Um it's, it's really kind of holding its own even with water. Let's give it another taste. Mm. 
that honey, apple. Again, sweet. This is on the sweet side, the sweet, delicate side. So it develops a bit more of that oak comes in and a bit more spice. Ooh, getting kind of an allspice chocolate note, dark chocolate note as it goes into the transitions into the finish here. Cinnamon, yes, definitely. Hint of cayenne pepper, giving it just a little bit of heat. Slightly drying on the palate, but still just vanilla, creamy, creamy vanilla and honey caramel toffee. Wow. Okay. Let's talk value. Hmm. So this was released in 2020. Um, not uh, an exclusive whiskey in any major sense, but it will be a little bit difficult to find. And if you do, here in the States, um, circa 2022 summertime, um, this is around a $300 bottle. Now, Albany's usually tend to be a bit more on the expensive side and aren't always um, easy to get your hands on. But if you do a little internet searching, maybe you go to a more specialty shop in your area, this can right, find you right around that $300 mark. Um, all in all, uh, I'm going to give this a medium to medium high value, even at that price point. And I'm going to tell you why when we get into final thoughts, which we're going to do right now. Okay, so Balvany single barrel, 21 years old, traditional oak. Um, I think this is, quite frankly, one of the best expressions of what Balvany, the essence of Balvany. Um, this is really showing the quality of casks they use, the quality of their malt. The ABV is right where it needs to be. It's at a great age statement that it, it still has a little bit of energy to it. Um, the only thing missing really to complete, complete it would be the sherry note, but I, um, for something that's a full bourbon cask, this is one of the best, I think, straight bourbon cask whiskeys, um, from Scotland that you're going to find. And, you know, this is the type of whiskey that really, really encourages you to slow down, take a break from the day, sip slowly and enjoy it, um, it's one of these types of whiskeys. It really is. It's very relaxing. It's not going to, um, you know, challenge you too much on the palate. It's going to have a few surprises, but none of them are going to be ex so extreme. It's a beautiful mouthfeel. I really, really enjoy this one. And I think for somebody who really enjoys a bourbon cask single malt scotch, uh, this is one of the best you're going to find. The price point is high. So this is a, this is a special bottle for sure. Um, $300 is no, uh, nothing to sneeze at, but, uh, I think what they've put together here is, is meat in the moment in terms of that price. And, uh, you know, quite frankly, with the way things are going with scotch prices these days, I mean, a single barrel presentation like this, um, at 21 years old for around 300 bucks is, is actually not that bad of a price. Um, while results may vary. When it comes to the barrel, as as I mentioned earlier, you know, a single cask or single barrel, uh, you know, you're 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 going to get uh, slight differences in between them. Um, but I can't imagine that any of these will be too much of a disappointment. I'm really high on this whiskey. Um, I could totally see this being a uh, contender for one of my uh, Scotch, uh, my whiskeys of the year, which I will be revealing at the end of the year. I'm going to give this a very very uh, encouraging positive score of a 4.25 out of five. And so that means I do recommend if you see it and have the resources, grab yourself a bottle of the Balvenie 21 year old single barrel traditional oak. Um, this is just quite frankly, a stellar, stellar whiskey. And honestly, probably one of the better ones I've had from Balvenie. This could even rival some of the batches of the uh, Balvenie ton that I've had in the 1509 series. That's how good I think this is. So 4.25 out of five, um, Keep this one on your radar. If you, this is the type of wheelhouse that you're looking for. You've been looking for a malt that can do this um, in a bourbon cask only. Hunt for it. It'll be worth it. 
I am going to just sit here and enjoy the rest of this. And uh, please do leave a comment if you've had this one before or whatever your favorite Balvenies may be. I'm interested to hear about that. And as always, here is your Malt Musing. I'll see you next time here on Malt Musing Whiskey Reviews. So much.